hello guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how I make my Ilala Sikbo there are different ways how I make Ilala Sikbo and this is one of it and I would like to share with you guys so let's start with the ingredients I'll be using I have my spinach I'm going to add spinach inside my okra which is known as Ila and normally most of the time I don't put spinach but today I feel like putting spinach that's why I have my spinach there and I have my okra I have my scotch bonnet I prefer the yellow one because the yellow one give more flavor to cooking than other red and the other colors and I have my meat stock here and I have my fish that is fresh fish and I have a roux and I have a crayfish powder and I have crayfish maggi and I have a, my assorted meat here and as you guys can see those brown meat is momo is cow skin I turn it to momo I also have video how I do the metal so if you are interested you can go and watch it it's called how to turn cow skin to momo so let's start cooking now and sorry guys I also have palm oil so now let's start cooking so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add my palm oil, not a lot, into my pot and I want it to get warm so that at least the palm oil smell will be, you know, reduced. I'm going to let that get warm a bit. So it's nice and hot and I'm going to add my stock. Guys, be careful when you're doing it don't make your palm oil too hot you know just hot not too hot and I'm going to add my assorted meat inside the stock and now I'm going to stir that together so you guys can see and I'm also going to add my iru as well. This is my iru. I'm going to add it. Don't worry, guys, it's hard, but when it's boiled now, everything is going to melt. I'm just going to stir all this together. Mmm, the smell is so good. So I'm going to close this. So guys, what I'm going to do now, why my meat is cooking in the stock, I'm just going to take out the seed from this scotch bonnet. Can you guys see? I'm just going to take out the seed like that. So after finish taking it out, I'm just going to dice it really, really small. You guys, it's very spicy. So if you want to do this at home, you can put on a gloves or put nylon in your hands. I can't put nylon in my hands. When I put nylon, if I want to cut it, I can't get to cut it properly. I feel very uncomfortable. So what I normally do, I'll use my hand as I'm using now, and when I finish, I'll wash my hand thoroughly with soap and if sponge. So guys, I finished chopping now. Can you guys see how it looks? And this is the seed. I'm just going to pour the seed in the bin. I don't need the seed. So let's go and pour it inside our meat. Okay. So I'm going to add my scotch bonnet now and I'm going to stir it. And I'm also going to add my crayfish powder. I'm going to stir it. So I'm going to leave the so guys I have my okra which I've rinsed here and uh, let me show you guys how I'm going to do it you can chop your okra you know but I like blending mine in the blender so I'm just gonna cut this 
like three pieces and I'll put it in the blender. Let me just show you guys. Just cut it one, three like that. You know. It's much easier when you blend it. And if you are somebody who don't like your okra blend, you can use knives to chop it, as I said, or you can grate it. I prefer to do this. It's much easier and quicker for me. Right, see? Yeah. Then I'll repeat the process and I'll blend it. So I finished chop now. I'm going to add a bit of water and I'm going to blend. So let's blend. So guys, I have tasted this and it doesn't need maggi or salt. This is the maggi I'm supposed to use earlier, but I'm not going to use it because the stock has a seasoning already and when I add my blend dead crayfish, my iru, I think when everything combined together, it just give it nice sweet flavor. So I don't need to add the maggi again and I don't need to add salt. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour my okra like that. I'm going to mix and mix and mix and mix. And I think it's a bit too thick, so I'm going to add water. I just pour water in the blender and I rinse from the blender and I pour that. And I'm going to stir it. Sorry guys, my lightning is acting a bit funny. So I've stirred all that together now. And what I'm going to add now is my fish. My fresh fish. Just gonna leave all that there to cook. And I'm going to put the lid on halfway and then let's go and cut our spinach. I'm going to chop my spinach. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add hot water from the kettle. I'm just going to use it like rinse. Okay, so my okra is doing very well. And now I'm going to pour my spinach. To mix all that together. Look at the fish, guys. Can you guys see? Ooh, we mix all that together. So it's ready, guys. Yummy, 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 yummy. I need to swallow right now, guys. I need to swallow. <laughs> That's my okra, okra la la sipo. Yep, it's ready, guys. 